Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at KDE's Plasma Mobile. They just recently announced a partnership with PinePhone. So what that means is that PinePhone will be releasing a special edition featuring KDE's Plasma Mobile. And this OS is one of the few OSs that I haven't tried yet on the PinePhone or at all. And so I thought, why not take it out for a spin? Before we get started, if you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, Peertube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. All right, so here I'm entering the pin, which is 1234 by default. And as you can see, KDE Plasma Mobile has some newer icons here. Overall, I think the design and the UI looks very good. It's actually the UI that's closest to Android, I think. And this is the settings menu. I'm going for the appearance here. Getting that dark theme goodness here. And so I tried changing the font and the interesting thing is that right now it looks like the, the settings app itself closes when I uh, configure the font. And then here's the contacts app. Again, the, the icon looks a lot better now. You don't have any contacts now, but I'm just gonna, if I'm just gonna click here, like if I'm adding one, and again, simple, but very nice looking. Here are some of the specs that we're working with. The KD version Plasma 5.20, QT 5.15, and Kernel 5.7. One big thing I noticed is that although the UI of Plasma Mobile is really good at the current state, it does crash often. If I like do something like, let's say, trying to connect to the Wi-Fi, the option, you know, takes forever to load and that could use a lot of improvement. Here's a little taste of the drop down menu. Again, very reminiscent of Android. Now I'm going to go ahead and try the Angelfish web browser that comes included with KDE Plasma. And it works. Um, pretty fast could always use improvement but i think it should be good enough already in its current state for everyday use so if i search linux here and just scroll down through fairly smooth the scaling on the web browser is really good actually i feel like the web browser and all the sites that you can visit look good here's me closing the app which again even closing the apps feels really smooth and very intuitive Mostly because it's very similar to Android. Here's me opening up the KDE store or the shop here. The, the apps that you are available are apps that are specifically designed for KDE Plasma. So you're not like bombarded with a bunch of applications and with only some of the apps uh, working fine and I'm just kind of having to guess which apps work. From what I'm already seeing, I'm really liking Plasma Mobile. I think it's the OS that feels closest to android at the moment in terms of the ui so there you have it there's lots to like with kde's plasma mobile and keep in mind that this os is still very much in development it's good to see that there are so many linux distro makers for smartphones out there partnering up with the pine phone with all these additions just goes to show that with linux you have so many options and you just have that good sense of community. With that said, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.